there welcome to ethical hacking from scratch to get paid tutorials in this video we will install samp on our kali machine also we will set up dwa that is damn vulnerable web application to practice our skills so let us get started with tutorial first open your browser and search for samp download So you will get the first link that is download the Apache Friends, ApacheFriends.org. Uh, this is the official link. Open the link, and you have to download this version of Linux. Okay, 7.1.11 is the latest one. You have to click download and download that file. I have already downloaded that file. Let me show you. Downloads. So you, uh, you will get this file with the .run extension. So to install this uh, uh, software, we have to make uh, changes in permission first. So select this uh, file, click on properties and permission. You have to allow the executing uh, file as program. So check this one and cancel now double click this file and wait for the software to launch the installation okay as you can see the installation has been started click on next okay uh, click both XAMPP core files and XAMPP developer files okay next so you can see it's saying that uh, XAMPP will be installed to this directory it is opt forward slash lm double p okay so we have to remember this uh, uh, directory click on next again next okay so it's saying that uh, setup is ready to begin uh, click on next and uh, wait for to get it installed successfully So as you can see now, the installation has been uh, completed. Uh, don't launch the uh, application right now. Uh, so uncheck this one and click on finish. Now after installing this XAMPP, we have to download damn vulnerable web application. So again open your browser. and search for dvwa download so you will get the first link that is dvwa.co.uk that is the official link click on the link and uh, at the bottom you will find the download option you have to click download and a zip folder will get downloaded it's not a big file so it will not take uh, much time to download i have already downloaded that file so let me show you so this is the file that will uh, that will get downloaded so now we have to extract this file so right click and click on extract over here so our file has been extracted successfully let me rename this file for simplicity and name it as dwa okay now we have to copy this folder to zem under zem htdocs so copy this file go to computer opt and you will find this folder lam double p over here double click on that one and uh, search for htdocs that is over here under the HC docs, you have to paste that dvwa folder. So our folder has been successfully copied over here. Now before going further, we have to change 
uh, we have to make some changes in configuration file of uh, dem vulnerable web application so double click on the folder dbwa and uh, go to config folder you will find the file config.inc.php.dist so you have to open with text editor and search for the database password okay you just have to remove this value don't uh, uh, delete this uh, quotation marks just uh, remove this value and keep it blank okay as you can see over here is blank now click on save and click on cancel now to see that our XAMPP is successfully running open your browser and type localhost and hit enter so you can see the XAMPP dashboard has been successfully loaded so it means that our XAMPP is working properly to now we will open uh, our dem vulnerable application okay so you have to type localhost forward slash and the folder name that we have given that is dwa and click now uh, if you got this error what what does it say uh, that dwa syntax uh, system error config file not found okay config uh, copy config forward slash config.inc.php.dist to config forward slash config.inc.php and configure to your environment so i have solution for this uh, error we just have to make some changes uh, in uh, hc uh, dwa folder so again go back to dwa folder okay let me empty that one okay let's detox okay here you will find dbwa go to config and now what we will do we will copy this file config file and paste it in the same folder and let us look at the, the sorry let us look at the uh, error we are getting over here okay so we we will change the file to config.inc.php so let us do that we just have to remove the last action extension that is dist so we we'll click on rename remove this last extension also remove this copy and rename it okay so we will uh, we have this file over here and now let us go to a browser and refresh the page so as you can see here the dbw has been successfully loaded okay so uh, you have to click on this uh, cre uh, create and reset database okay so we are getting uh, error over, over here that uh, could not connect to mysql service that means the mysql service is not running uh, so we have to start our mysql service uh, from our xamp control panel so we have to open the xamp control panel uh, let let me show you where can you find the uh, xamp control panel uh, go to computer opt lmp and you have to click on manager linux 64.run okay click on this and you can see the control panel has been successfully open uh, manage the server as you can see over here that mysql database is stopped so we have to start this service okay it says it's starting okay okay now it says that mysql database is running also make sure that uh, this apache web server is also running okay so uh, let me minimize this one let us uh, go to browser again uh, cancel this tab and uh, type 
localhost forward slash twa okay so again we will get this uh, uh, control uh, control panel that is uh, twa uh, let us click on the create and reset database so okay so what it says uh, it has uh, successfully loaded the uh, login page so here uh, note down the username is admin and the password is just password let me type over here for you guys is password okay this one okay so let me type it over here password and login so as you can see we have successfully set up our damn vulnerable web application and the last step you have to do over here is click on dw dwas security and uh, make the security level uh, impossible to low because we are here to learn things first and then we can try impossible one okay so uh, make sure that you change the security level to low and click on submit so our security level has been changed to low so as you can see over here there are a lot of uh, vulnerabilities we can practice on this web application uh, vulnerable web application that is brute force command injection csrf xss sql injection and many more so uh, this is it for this tutorial from next tutorial we will be uh, learning new uh, vulnerabilities using dwa so see you guys in next tutorials